All right, this is what we're drinking today. We're drinking Belching Beavers uh, Hazer's Gonna Haze Hazy IPA. This is part of their rotating hop series. Um, this is a 6.6% alcohol, which is not too bad. You know, I like I like my IPAs a little stronger, but this is good for uh, some day drinking while we play some games. That way we don't get a little messed up. Um, this has... Uh, Four different hops. Uh, it says Citra, Mosaic, Simcoe, Cairo, Citra. Got a bunch of malts in there, uh, oats and wheat and all that. Uh, but they have they what what the rotating hop series is. They they try different, I guess, combinations every, every time. Um, and this one, uh, this iteration of of the the hazy IPA, they they're calling it the Mighty Mogwai. Um, it uh, from their website you can go to the website belchinbeaver.com uh, and find all this info out um, but on their website it says that uh, the latest iteration in our rotating hop series hazer's gonna haze is the Madi mogwai uh, you can tell you're drinking the by the code omg on the bottom of your can uh, we mer morphed this version uh, with a uh, Cryo, Citra, and Simcoe hops to enhance the flavors and aromas of mango and other tropical fruits. Um, that's the only thing that, that I don't like uh, too much about the, the hazies uh, is the fruitiness of it. But um, I've, I've had a bunch of other hazies that they're not as fruity, which is good. Uh, that You have hints of, of fruit in there. Uh, but it's it's not overpowering. Um, a lot of these aren't aren't that bitter as well. If they're made right, the bitterness is is, is gone, which is which is good. Um, since since all these craft beers have been coming out, all these different IPAs, they've learned a lot of different techniques to where uh, it's not as bitter as when when they were first coming out uh, or when they were first became popular, I should say. Um, so. You know, and that's what I like. That's why I, I didn't drink IPAs for a long time. It's because they were way too bitter. Um, but since I was drinking a lot of porters and stouts, my, my palate was used to the thick, uh, dark beers. So once I had a, a, a an IPA, it um, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Like it, it I just uh, I just didn't like some of the 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 fruitiness of it. Um, but uh, we're gonna taste this uh, hazer's gonna haze and and uh, find out if uh, if it's good. Now I, I I've been drinking Belgian Beaver for a long time. I've had a bunch of their their uh, their beers. Uh, one of my favorites that they don't have and I haven't been able to find it is the the horchata. Um, uh, it was a, a, a it was a stout or a porter. I don't know, but the horchata one was was good. Now they have the it, it's the the, the the one that they always have is the, is the peanut butter one. And um, I like peanut butter, but uh, the Ortata one was better. So um, let's just get to it. Salute. This is good. This is, like I said, it's, um, it's not bitter at all. You can taste the uh, citrusness. A um, little bit of the fruity tropical fruit, but it's not overpowering at all. It's a, it's a light taste. This is a lot of the hazies are, I would say, like uh, like a IPA light. Um, and this is what it, that's what it tastes like. It's it's not overpowering at all. It's a great oh, this is uh, like a I've I know I said this before, like a great summer beer. You know when it's light and and, and it's uh, it's got a lot of flavor, which is good, but it's light. So, uh, I, this is one that I would recommend. Um, it's a good hazy IPA. If you, if you like the hazies, uh, if you like IPAs, it's a great one. Belching Beaver, Hazers, kind of haze. So check it out, your local store. Salute. Hey, welcome back. We are in week two of my GM. So let's just get right into it. Okay. Um, uh, my, my friends and family have been waiting so long to see me compete live in chicago can't wait to entertain them tonight all right so we have to put montez ford in uh because we are in chicago 
and this is his hometown so it's gonna give us a, a bit of a boost uh for montez and for the show so let's book the show let's go uh we'll open the sh should we open the show with montez make the show big uh actually yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one. uh we're gonna do a uh extreme rules uh montez versus yes perfect they already knew they already knew Sign free agents. That's what we need to do. Uh, we got Seamus. Who do I have to fight him? Is a bruiser. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? We need, we need Yeah, let's get uh, Seamus. We'll sign him. Good to go. Let's uh, let's book it. Um, let's see what match do we 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 gotta see the opener. See the opener. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll watch the opener. I'm gonna try to at least watch one good one. Uh, if I have like two good ones, then then I'll I'll we'll we'll watch two of them. But we'll, at least one, we'll watch one. Oh, whoa. They're getting Uso chance. What? In Chicago? There we go. Montez Ford with some punches. Ooh. Drops him on the back of his neck. Too soon, too soon. I would love to... You know what? We should get... Uh, when we get a chance, if we can get him... We have to sign solo and they have them interfere in the match like they usually do the, when the, the Usos come out or the bloodline. All right. You got to bring out the chair. It is extreme rules, remember. Extreme rules. Beautiful. Oh. Don't turn your back on and Jay. Oof. On the booty. Oh, working the arm. Because it's not exciting. They need to bring out the tables, the chairs, the Kindle sticks. Where are the Kindle sticks at? The chairs. They can bring them out. It's extreme rules. There you go. Oh, over the rope. Beautiful. I need to hear some this is awesome chance. They gotta bring us. They gotta bring out the tables. Where are the tables at? What's he gonna get? The ladder. Get in the ladder. What's he gonna do? Oh, nice. The table coming out. Bring out the tables. Oh, right against the guardrail. Oh, he's gonna beat him. He's gonna beat him with it. Oh. Oh. Turn that. Oh my goodness. Oh no. The crowd into it. The crowd's getting into it. Oh, he's stunned. 
Ooh, nice. Counter. Big, ooh, another DDT. Oh my goodness, a sledgehammer. Oh! Montez Force flies out of the ring. Beautiful. Nice somersault over the top rope. DDT outside. Ooh. Standing drop kick. He's going up. He's going up. Montez Ford. Frog splash. Kid is B. One, two, three. Montez Ford wins it. What a very exciting extreme match, though. Not, not enough. Not enough. It's like one chair hit, and then one kendo stick hit, and that was, that's all we got. They brought up the ladder, set it up. They brought up the table, never got to set it up. Oh, man. But hey, look. They loved it. Great match. Great match. All right. Good start, good start. I just need a good finish as well, though. I just hope that last one's a good finish. The last man standing match. Maybe it should have been a steel cage match. Should have been, a I think so. Oh, Charlotte, what happened? All right, we'll simulate this one. This, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go with Ripley on this one. Yeah, Rhea, yeah, Rhea wins it. Ah, uh, that's a terrible match. Ooh, she got two popular. There you go. There you go. Self promo. Um, what we got here? Ah, uh, man, I gotta go with Cross with this one. We got. Oh, Edge was the winner. It was an okay match. All right. I'm telling you, we gotta get, gotta get, you know, some, uh, some, uh, some more talent. We need more talent. All right. We're just going to simulate this one. one two, that's it. Bring it. Finn Baylor. Oh, the good thing that we did not make it a title match. All right. Raw. Let's see how they are. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go well for them. Drew over Logan Paul. An amazing match. No, 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 no. Come on, disappointing. Mediocre. Okay, okay. What's this? John Cena and Mace. It's gotta be bad, right? Mace wins it. Disappoint. Good, good, good. All right, all right. We might have a chance here. Might have a chance. Come on. This is terrible. Terrible. Mediocre. Good, 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 good. All right, they had a good opening match. They had a good opening match. I mean, but we were right up there. Like 3.5 to 4. We're good. The mid card is still beat us, but we on the mid card, uh, the second mid card and the main event, we got them. We got them on that one. But we're going to get some more superstars. We got a 90 rating. Good, good, good. Get that. We're doing much better. All right. But they get the, oh, they got a 92. Oh. All right. So we've lost three weeks in a row. That's all right. We'll get them in Kentucky. Week number four. So, uh, I just got to say salute. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, was it the tag match rivalry that we're going to have? Should be good. I don't know if it's this week or the next week, but we'll get it. 